welcome back to my channel. It is another start to weekly vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my LA vlogs last week. Um, I am back in Toronto, obviously, and it is, it is Friday today, so I got in super early Thursday morning, so yesterday morning. Uh, yesterday was a write-off. I like passed out as soon as I got home and then I um, Basically just answered all the emails that I missed all throughout the week So yesterday was just kind of like a catch-up day. Um, I really hope I'm in focus because I actually can't even see my viewfinder My viewfinder broke um, while I was in LA one of the screws popped out and I currently have like an elastic band I'll, I'll actually just show you I have like a like an elastic band right over here holding my screen together. You obviously can't see the back of my screen, but that is what is preventing the entire screen from falling apart. So I'm gonna be doing like a huge kind of like deep clean of my office right now. It is an absolute mess. And I know I feel like I say that all the time, but I didn't get a chance to really, really clean it uh, before I left for LA. So there's just like a ton of boxes and then I got even more PR packages while I was away. Um, so this is the current state of it. Um, yeah, it's a disaster. There's like a bunch of stuff all over my desk and like there's just so much crap in here. But this is the week that I am going to change all of that. I'm going to Ikea sometime this weekend. I don't know. I don't know where to hold this camera. Um, sometime this weekend I'm going to be going to Ikea and I want to get like a... I'm gonna move this clothing hanger and I'm gonna get like a little shelf type of thing so that I could have a more streamlined process or like um, housing area for all my PR packages so that when I get them I have places to put like new product, product I'm giving away and like I don't know just other stuff just so it's like more clean in here because lord knows I need that. Um, so yeah I right now I just have this garbage bag and I'm just gonna go through this corner of product. There's so much stuff in here, stuff that needs to be donated, stuff that I need to try, and also some giveaway stuff. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna go on my Instagram and do a giveaway. I love doing international giveaways, but it's super expensive, expensive to ship stuff out. Um, so I will have them here and there, especially when I get to partner with a brand because then they send it and I don't have to pay for the shipping. But for like bigger packages and stuff, um, it's just easier for me to ship it in Canada or like Toronto. So yeah, anyways, this is a really long intro, but I'll check in with you guys a little later when my room is looking a little bit more clean. And actually, I'll show you some PR packages in a sec as well. I'm just going to get my life real quick. So I've sorted through all my mail. This is kind of all the garbage and, you know, the boxes and stuff that I'm getting rid of. And I've decided that from now on, every single week, I'm going to declutter. So, um, just like when I get new packages and stuff, I will just have a box, like use one of the PR, PR boxes. And just throw in, like, either products that will not work for my skin tone. Or it's just products that, like... I know 100% I won't use um, or just like duplicates like for example like these I have so many of these um, and then also I already have all of these super stay matte ink uh, lipsticks and just like a couple other products I don't want these are shades that would be too light for me etc etc so I'm gonna try and do this every week so that I don't like freak out um, you know at the end of the month and just see a bunch of product that uh, has no space in my room for now I'm just gonna get rid of this see what the space is looking like and then I will tackle the mess that is my desk. Alright guys, so it is many hours later. Um, it's almost 7 o'clock. I love how the sun is still up, even though it's this late. It makes me so happy. But I finished cleaning my room. Um, for the most part, I still want to like sweep the floors and stuff and vacuum. But you can see like my desk is nice and clear. Everything is just nice and clear. This, I'm not going to move until I get the IKEA little unit um, so I'm just gonna keep that there for now um, and I just have this garbage that I just need to clear out here are some of the products I also have some over there but we'll start off with this first actually I want to start off with what I got from Bella um, so I met Marwa actually for the first time in LA um, you guys would have seen in Shahid's vlog or but actually by the time you guys are seeing this you would have seen our first encounter um, but she was so sweet and I don't know why she didn't just send this or give this to me when she like when I was in LA because 
would have saved her some shipping costs, but um, she gave me this cute little thing. It says, Vela is always a good idea. I've never actually tried Vela scarves before, so I'm really excited. This is a maroon color. I actually don't have a chiffon hijab in this shade. I kind of want to put my mirror up so I can see what it looks like. But this is really pretty. I like this a lot. Another really pretty shade that I think, oh wait, this is a scarf. This is a square. I don't know, square scarves just remind me of like back in the day. Like that's what I used to wear when I first um, became a hijabi, but that's really cute actually. I'm glad that she sent me this because it's very unique. I definitely don't have that. And especially as a hijabi, I feel like you just, you just get stuck in a rut. Like you always do the same style. I'm always wearing these crinkle cottons, so yeah. And then she sent me this viscose one. But again, love the shade. She did a really good job with the shade, so thank you, Marwa. And then she sent, I don't want to take these out, but this is, is this chiffon? No, this is like a black um, viscose, like a cottony one. And then this one is like a taupe, a taupe shade. Ooh, I got some lashes from Velour. These, I'm so annoyed. These were supposed to arrive the day I was supposed to leave for LA, and I was really hoping they would because um, Velour sent me backups of my all-time favorite lash. This is Serendipity. Um, I ended up just taking the old pair that I had, but they were kind of crusty. <laughs> I mean, they still looked nice, but it would have been nice to have a fresh pair. But anyways, I can wear these for, you know, I have a, com a lot of coming up, a lot of upcoming events. Um, so if you ever wondered what are my favorite lash to wear, it's this one over here. It's by Velour. And it's in the style Serendipity. I feel like every time I get them, they look a little different. I guess because they're handmade, they just, I don't know, they just look a little different every time. But they're my favorite lash. I find they look so natural. So they sent me two pairs. So thank you so much to Velour. And then they also came out with this new Effortless collection. Um, and especially for people always ask me for like beginner lash styles and stuff like that. I feel like this is one of those. So I have two over here. This one is What I Lie and this one is Barely There. So hopefully I'm in focus, but they're like shorter. You don't have to cut them. It says at the top, no trim. They're like much shorter and um, they're just more natural looking. So and easier to apply, I guess. They have a invisible band, so I'm interested to see how these work, especially for every day. This just became like an unintentional PR haul, <laughs> but I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna divide this week into two because I do have quite an exciting week and um, I don't want this vlog to be like 40 minutes long, basically. Um, but NARS sent me a package. This is their, what is this? This is a highlighting palette in the shade, or in the style, Rev Salé. Ooh, this is really, really pretty. So pretty, I really hope that the camera is doing it justice in this angle. This shade, oh yeah. Oh yeah, all these shades actually look amazing. Moving on, I just got this little note um, from Neutrogena. You guys might have seen uh, my morning routine from a couple weeks ago I did in collaboration with Neutrogena and it was so cute. They sent me a little thank you card. They also sent me a gift card um, to Marshall's Home Sense and Winners, which if y'all know me at all, those are like my favorite stores to go to, especially since I'm redoing my office right now. Um, having a gift card to Home Sense is actually gonna be amazing because I can buy some cute things to like just decorate my walls and stuff because it's super plain right now. A package from Maybelline over here. Um, so this is, they just came out with the, oh my eyes are itchy. They came out with the Tattoo, Tattoo, Tattoo Studio um, Brow Gel. This is a waterproof, smudge proof, and transfer proof up to two day wear. Who the heck would have their makeup on for two days? So they sent two shades over here. We have Deep Brown and also medium brown which is awesome because i generally like to use a medium brown i'm gonna put that in my new product drawer as well i'll show you actually my new product drawer if you're confused um anytime i get new pr packages i put them in this drawer over here so as you can see it is very full um it wasn't actually full before this it just got more full because i you know actually cleaned out my floor i have this package from bare minerals i actually got this before i left for la but um, I got it the day of I, the day I was leaving so I didn't really have time to go through it and everything but they sent this like cool package thing like it's like stacked and you can like open it this way and each little stack has different products so in the first one over here and they just came out with a new concealer so this is their new um, 
16 hour wear full coverage concealer. It looks like this. And is it in focus? Yeah, so they sent me four shades over here. I'll have to give this a try, but to be honest, I'm not like the biggest, I used to actually really love stick foundation, uh, stick concealers like this, but now not so much. So I don't know, it might still be good. I actually really, really love their Bare Pro foundation. So maybe this will be a winner as well. Okay, and then the next little fold over here is their foundation so i guess they sent me backups um of the shades that i'm in they're really good at choosing shades actually they sent me my exact shade which is hazelnut if i can get this out here they sent me hazelnut and then they also sent me chai um i'm thinking i'm gonna try chai because i feel like hazelnut is slightly too orange on me um at least like by the end of the day i look hella orange so i'm gonna try chai and see how I like it more because um, this is like one of my all-time favorite foundations but I stopped using it because I was looking too orange so I will give Chai, I'll give Chai a try. The last thing over here they sent is um, the powders. So this is their Performance Wear Pressed Powder Foundation. I've actually never tried a powder foundation before. And last but not least, guys, I know this is a really long part of the vlog, but um, I got this package from Benefit Cosmetics right before I left. It was actually supposed to go to um, a cute little dinner, like a really intimate dinner that they were having um, for this lunch, but they're coming out with a new, um, what is it called? A blush bar? Oh, the Gold Rush blush. And oh, this is so cute. They brought like a little journal that says, you got this. It's very pixelated though. Not sure if this is a blush or a highlight, but this is what it looks like. I feel like it's a blush with just like an, a top coat of glitter, but, ooh. Yeah, that's not really going to match me that nicely. It smells so good though. Oh my God. If that was a perfume, like I would buy it. <laughs> Super pretty blush, it's just not gonna suit me. It's like kind of ashy, if you can see. So again, I'm gonna put that in the little giveaway box that I have behind me. They really need to come out with a hula dark. Like they really do, they need to stop playing. But this is what it looks like. It's super, super gorgeous. Um, really excited to try California. I hear amazing things about that. Even Dandelion looks really pretty. You can see this. This is a really cute palette. Okay, and I think that concludes the PR portion of this video. I think that is everything. Ooh, actually, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. My room is actually a mess right now. Oh my god, look at this. Like, it was so clean a second ago, and now I have to clean all this up again, but that's okay. Um, but I got this thing. I actually shipped it to California um, and then brought it back with me because the shipping was so expensive. But I got this from BellaPosh.com. I actually didn't even open this, but it fit perfectly into my carry-on, so I was very happy about that. Uh, but this is basically a lipstick organizer. It's acrylic and it fits 120 lipsticks and then it has a spot over here for like lip liners and stuff so i thought this was perfect and it's it's made to fit um inside the alex drawers so i'm gonna be going through this drawer finally this is my lipstick drawer that i've been so scared to look through but i'm gonna declutter all of this and whatever fits in here is what i will keep so 120 uh lipsticks and whatever does not fit will sadly have to leave my collection. So I'm very nervous to do this, but that video will be coming up sometime this week or next week. So have a look out. Um, but I'm really excited to finally have this. I, I realize I probably should have bought like two of them, but I didn't. So that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, that is the end of this segment. I feel like this vlog is already so long. Good morning guys, it is now Saturday morning. I'm about to go to the gym. Um, it's a little later than usual. Today I'm going at 10.45, it's 10.32 right now, so I actually have to leave like right now. Um, but my trainer wanted to go like kickboxing this morning. That's what she does like every couple Saturdays. I mean, normally we go at 9 a.m., but it was nice to sleep in today. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this like blue top that I got. Actually, everything is Fabletics. <laughs> um, the pants and the top is from Fabletics. And I'm gonna wear my 
I'm wearing mismatched socks, just ignore that. But um, right after the gym, I'm gonna go to Best Buy and try to see if I can switch this camera out and get a new one because I do have a warranty. So hopefully there is good news the next time I turn on this camera and I will talk to you guys then. All right guys, so it is much later. It is like around 12.30ish. Um, I went to the gym, I went to the Best Buy and they said they didn't have the camera in stock. So I have to go to another Best Buy. But on my way to the other Best Buy, um, I stopped at Fairview Mall because, <laughs> I forgot to mention this as well, but my laptop broke as well, my MacBook. Um, I know I have an iMac, but I use my MacBook like when I travel and then also like when I'm just in my room, I can also do a little bit of work and then also when Sada comes to help me sometimes, um, you know, we could use two laptops. So since that also broke, I'm at the mall, I'm gonna go buy a new MacBook. Um, really upset about it, <laughs> but I mean, that that uh, computer served its service. I've had it for almost five years now. All throughout university, I used it to edit pretty much like throughout my life of my channel, throughout the life of my channel, and like I took it to travel. Like it's, it's, it's served its purpose on this earth and it is time to let it go. I am gonna get it checked out by the Genius Bar like next week or something, see if I can like get some money back from it or if it's just done. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go um, into Fairview right now and get that and then I'm gonna go to Ikea and get something else, that little unit that I was talking about since um, Fairview is really close to the Ikea um, in North York. So, really busy day and then after that, I will go to Best Buy and hopefully exchange this camera. Um, I'm still in my gym clothes. I kind of regret not bringing an extra pair of clothes because my pants are like, yeah, I'm wearing like a bright ass blue shirt and like checkered pants, but I mean, whatever. I low-key kind of smell too, but whatever. Let's go, let's go spend some money. <laughs> I just went through so much crap to get this thing in my car. It is probably around like 100 pounds, probably like 70 to 100 pounds, so it's heavy. It's long, awkward to hold, and like... I didn't bring my SUV normally I drive that but this was like outside on the driveway today so I took this instead and this car is just big enough to fit this thing only diagonally though like it wouldn't have fit any other way but I did it I did it myself there's people staring at me that didn't even offer to help <laughs> but that's okay I'm an independent black woman who don't need no man okay to get this stuff in the car but um, yeah, my car is like packed right now. I have this package over here that YouTube sent, um, which I'll show a little later. I got a couple things in the back and the day's still not over. I need to go to Best Buy now, but I ran into a subscriber in Ikea. So if you're watching this, hello. Thank you for saying hi. It was so sweet. She was like an older woman and she was like, she kept like turning over and she was like, oh, like I love your t makeup tutorials. And for a second I thought she said, I love your makeup and I'm like, I look like ass right now, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but then I heard tutorial at the end, and I was like, oh, thank you. She's like, they're so inspiring, blah, blah, blah. She's really sweet, so thanks for saying hi. I wish I asked for your name, but I was just too flustered. Anyways, let's go to Best Buy and hope that I can get this camera fixed or switched out. Oh, I also got my, um, my MacBook in the back um, that I may or may not return because they were saying how they might be coming out with a new model. So I just bought it anyways, and I have 15 days to return, so I'm going to see how I like it, and um, then I'll decide. I want to still take my uh, laptop to the Genius Bar, because if it does work, then I'll just continue using that until like whenever they release the new MacBook Air, and I will pick that up instead. But I'll, show, I'll explain all that later. Let's just go to Best Buy. Hey guys, so it is many hours later. Um, it is, what time is it? It's like 7.30 right now, or 6.30, excuse me. I like took a shower and chilled. Actually, a lot has happened since um, I last picked up this camera. Oh no, the battery's not charged, damn it. Basically, I had to buy another camera. I bought this new one um, while my other one gets serviced, but that's gonna take like two to three weeks, they said, so I'm just gonna be using this until then, and then I'll just return this when my old camera comes back in. But we are back in business, so I'm very happy. I'm sorry, we are very overexposed. But basically, since this is about to die on me, I'm about to make um, lunch slash dinner. I really haven't eaten a full meal all day, so I'm about to make my chicken meatballs that I always do and then pair it up with some mushrooms and spinach, which is my favorite. I'm literally craving mushrooms and spinach because that is like 90% of 
my diet so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I'm gonna have this battery charged a little bit and then we can eat all together and I'll show you everything else I got I got all the stuff from Ikea into my house so I'm gonna work on building this tonight and then I will show you what I got from YouTube as well which is really exciting so I made the meatballs and the mushroom and spinach and y'all I missed eating like this like this is although it might be kind of boring like I literally eat the same thing every week I live for this stuff like it just tastes so good and I love spinach like spinach is the best way to fit in like all your veggies for the day because you use so much but then when it heats up like it wilts to almost nothing so there's just like a bunch of nutrients and then mushrooms just make everything taste better so and by the way if you want to see a recipe for these meatballs you can go to my last what I eat in a day was it my last one yeah it was my last one I'll have it linked somewhere over here the recipe is bomb like you need to try it out so I'm just setting up my new uh, MacBook. <laughs> I almost forgot what it's called. I got the MacBook Air. Um, I was going between the Pro and the Air, but since I already have like my iMac, I don't really need something like too intricate, so I went for this, but then the guy was telling me how they're probably gonna redo the Air very soon and come out with like a new version, so I'm kind of upset about that because I'd rather like have the option between the new version and this one. Um, but I mean, so far it should be okay. I'm mainly only gonna be using this like to travel and use like downstairs when I'm not in my office and like, you know, little things like that. So it's really not, it's really not that necessary, but this is what she looks like. It's the 13 inch. Um, also like none of the airs come with retina display, which is kind of annoying. Um, I don't know, like I got used to retina display on my iMac, so it does look very nice, but it's fine. So. Yeah, that's just my little update. We got the new camera situation over here, and then we got the new iMac or MacBook. Just a whole bunch of newness. Guys, okay, Sada, Sada made cinnamon cake. It doesn't look as good like that. Is it good? <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. yes. Let's see. Yo, hire me. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like. Oops. I was gonna get you guys like a plate and fork, but. Oh, that's okay. This works. This too. works. <laughs> I had to get like a new camera. Really well. You did? Well, did I just again? just for the time being. I'm gonna return it before. Like I'm getting it serviced. Don't say that on camera. Oh, I, I told the Best Buy people. Oh. I was like, I'm buying this one because I can't be without it. Let's see. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> messy. Mmm. You like it? Mmm. -hmm. What are they called? It's not. There's not too much sugar. I like uh, that. Okay, good. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. -hmm. No, not like allergic. Nothing is allergic to right. Just almonds and mushrooms. This is really good though. Guys, we just came to Sada's house randomly. We sometimes come here um, like Saturdays, but you know when you're going to like your best friend's house or your cousin's house, you don't really care how you're dressed. I'm literally wearing my pajamas. <laughs> I'm legit. I don't even have a bra on. I just straight up wore my PJs, put leggings on, and then these like fuzzy socks. And then wore like fancy ass shoes. Like it is so mixed. Hello. <laughs> Her dad just walked in. So guys, it's now the morning, uh, Sunday morning, and I realized I totally forgot to show you what YouTube sent me. Um, so basically, um, I was a part of the hashtag create black history campaign with YouTube black and they sent over a little thank you. And it is literally the sweetest, like most creative thing I've ever seen. So it says hashtag YouTube Black and then it says hey Aisha and they're basically just um, thanking me for participating in the initiative for Black History Month etc etc and they sent through this thing I was a little confused at first but basically it's a viewfinder I'm not gonna I'm not sure if you'll be able to really see but it actually yeah if I go like this you can actually kind of see it and then you can switch this out and basically they have like all my beginning videos so this is like one of my first videos from back in the day probably 2012 or something it's like an eyeliner tutorial and then they added like this which oh my god that is such a throwback and basically every single one is just like finishing the sentence how freaking cute is that it is literally like the coolest thing ever so thank you so much to the YouTube black team for that um, but then they also 
gave like a bunch extra so it says giveaway instructions along with your own viewfinder we've enclosed five more to share with members of the growing community you've built spread the love ask your fans to use hashtag youtube black for a chance to win their viewfinder so I guess they want us to do a little giveaway so I mean I don't really know <laughs> which one of you guys would be interested in winning a viewfinder that has just a bunch of clips of my face in it um, but if you are then you can use in the comments hashtag YouTube black and um, I'll pick someone and maybe I'll even throw in some makeup products so let's do that in this vlog that's super cute but thank you so much to the hashtag YouTube black team seriously they're amazing they show so much so much support to your girl which I really appreciate especially as a hijabi please do not mind my appearance I was like testing out this like lip gloss thing it's like glitter it looks so strange but i just wanted to end off this vlog over here um i wanted to build my my little uh shelf thing in this vlog but i think this vlog is already too long so i'm just gonna end it here and then if you guys want to see me building that and just kind of like arranging my room then subscribe make sure your post notifications are on because that will be in my next vlog but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it let me know if you guys um like these vlogs and if you do give this big a big thumbs up but yeah for the giveaway rules just use enter any comment down below do hashtag youtube black and i will i guess ship these out to five of you so yeah this will be open to only north america unfortunately because um, it's really expensive to ship everywhere else. I was thinking only Canada, but the U.S. makes up a huge portion of my audience. So, yeah, we'll do Canada and the U.S. So, thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much. Please subscribe to my channel. I look so crazy right now. <laughs> and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, everyone.